ever sat around thinking to yourself, man, I just want to play a game and not have any fun whatsoever? No? Well, you might just be sane. However, if you are a glutton for punishment, boy do I have the game for you. Steven Spielberg's Director's Chair, a simulation game starring a bunch of people. Someone mentioned this game to me on Twitter and I was highly intrigued by it. I'd never heard of it before now, and if I never have to play it again, I would be more than okay with that. This game is described as a simulator in which you create your own movie. Except you don't write the script, you don't cast the actors and actresses, and you don't get to direct the scenes. Those parts are simulated for you, though you do get to edit clips, add music and sound effects, and create eye-catching posters in the marketing department. As you start up the game, you are presented with a screen that leads you to believe you're in prison. Excuse me, where's this one going? Stage 17, watch your backs. JK, it's just a prop. Silly game pulled a fast one on you, didn't it? You're actually on a movie lot where you're greeted by SS himself. I've chosen you to direct our next project, so welcome to the studio. Thank you, Steven. And then there's an earthquake. I don't know why that happened. It has nothing to do with the rest of the game. The designers just wanted to make sure that you know you're in California, and the only trademark thing about California is earthquakes, apparently. You'll also get a personal assistant to tell you what you should be doing next, and this awesome computer with a blatantly 90s screensaver. All right, let's make some movies. Cue that stereotypical yet jaunty Hollywood music. things first, the script. If it's not on the page, it's not on the stage. So we got you a couple of positively and really amazing, terrific writers, Ted and Terry. Thank you, Steven. Here's a cool thing. The script writers in this game are the writers who worked on Aladdin. My name's Ted. My name's Terry. We co-wrote the animated film Aladdin. And so in Hollywood, we're the perfect pair to write a prison picture. I like that. It's cool to see the people behind the camera, the writers, the cinematographers. Bad thing. They're gonna write your script for you. You don't get a say. Check out this riveting gameplay as I, the player, click on parts of the script, watch somebody else write it, then click on it again to put it away. Hot damn, I'm having so much fun I could scream. Once you're done not scripting your own movie, you get to name it. The name of my masterpiece is Nine Inch What Now? Starring Jennifer Aniston, Quentin Tarantino, and Penn & Teller. Let's move right along to the filming, which consists of clicking a button and watching shitty FMV clips of all the scenes you just wrote. Well, the pre-written scenes that you lovingly placed into a binder, that is. Oh, I can't predict your future, my dear. Oh, God. Because you don't have... Now, you're probably wondering where the gameplay elements are hidden in this game. Well, from what I gather, you have a budget and a schedule and you need to be working with those. As the game progresses, you need to decide how much time you want to put into filming certain scenes or if you want to skip things to remain on budget. Otherwise, oh my, Nine Inch What now suffers stiff delays. How appropriate. Basically, you're encouraged to use your time wisely. I think Steven Spielberg just wants everyone to know how difficult movie making is because the game keeps throwing these little setbacks at you that's supposed to simulate what happens on a real life set. I'm Allison, your costume designer. I do costumes, not magic. You didn't tell me you wanted a mummy costume. Where am I gonna get a mummy? It's gonna take 45 minutes to tear the rags for this costume. Thank you, Allison. Hi, I'm Yvonne. I'm your hairdresser for the movie. It's going to take about 20 minutes to get Ma ready. Thank you, Yvonne. You guys, the power went off again. I can't do makeup in the dark. Somebody has to get over here and fix this or it's going to hold everything up. Thank you, uh, you. Who are you? It doesn't really matter if you film out of order because you'll be cutting it together soon anyway. Editing is always fun. Oh, God. I would like to preempt this next part by saying that I edit all the time. Editing can be really fun, but a lot of the times it's very hard work that also happens to be fulfilling. The last thing I want to do after editing all day is edit in-game. Let's just say it's not what I would call a great means of escape from reality. If I wasn't an editor, maybe I would have found this fun, even though the personal assistant goes on forever explaining how to do this. Seriously, it is tedious. I know this sounds complicated, but don't worry about it. You'll get the hang of it after you've made a couple of edits. Then you'll just be flying through the footage. It's also not quite up to date on technique, but mostly it's just boring. I just don't want to sit through Quentin Tarantino's horrible acting for more than I have to. Ugh. I am going to put together the worst movie I can think of with the most inappropriate sound effects.
Well, actually, putting in the sound effects and music was pretty fun. The sound effects I chose make absolutely no sense to any of the scenes, so let's just say Nine Inch What Now is a screwball comedy film. <laughs> My movie is turning out horrible, but you know what can save it? Clever marketing. Let's go to the graphics department and make an awesome movie poster. There we go, we got several Jennifer Anistons here and several iterations of the title in different font choices. Well dang, it worked. See, I told you, marketing is everything, even when it's horrible. After putting together your film, you'll need to let it process in the lab. Says it'll take about 12 minutes. Alright, that's not too bad considering the time it takes to render my own videos. Wait a second, do I actually have to wait the 12 minutes in-game? Oh, Jesus, I do. It's actually making me wait 12 minutes and not allowing me to do anything else in-game while it's processing. Wow. Thank you, Steven Spielberg, for reminding me that things take time, just the moral I wanted from a video game. Now, realistically, something could be happening in the game that could be taking 12 minutes. Maybe my video really is rendering in-game. Either way, it would be nice to be able to do something while I'm waiting. Maybe a game of Solitaire or Minesweeper or something. Anything. After it's done processing, you get to show off your movie monstrosity to an audience of at least 12 people. The film you're about to see was a pitch battle and an uphill struggle, but if all goes well here today, only the love should show. And I hope you enjoy watching it as much as we have enjoyed making it. I also want you all to know that this movie took longer to process than to actually make. Even though I created something that could only be described as absolutely horrendous, people really seem to like my movie. Well, except for one heckler. I would have done things differently, but I'm not the director now, am I? <sighs> Haters gonna hate. My movie was a huge hit, proving that all of your movie-making dreams can come true with minimal effort and excellent poster-making skills. You slayed him at the premiere, and the studio wants to sign you up for another picture with an even bigger budget, so go over to operations and sign in. Thank you, Steven. Now there is more to this game after your first film. You can actually unlock more features like better camera angles, more music, a larger budget, and a more flexible schedule. The gameplay itself doesn't change, so I had no interest in continuing on with the sequel to Nine Inch What Now, Ten Inches? Though I'm sure it would have been a huge hit. You know, if I were a lot younger and didn't edit for a living, I probably would have thought this game was pretty great. Even though I don't think it lived up to its full potential, there were actually a number of things I found interesting. There just weren't enough of those things to keep my attention. It's cool the designers managed to find real behind-the-scene designers, artists, writers, and editors of blockbuster films to make cameos for this game. Hi. My name is Dean Cundy. Some of the films I've shot include Jurassic Park, Casper, Back to the Future, and Roger Rabbit. I sincerely felt interested when those parts came up, but there just aren't enough of them. I really love the concept of a movie-making simulator, and there are parts in this game that really weren't all that bad, but for the most part, it felt like work. I just don't want to edit while playing a game, and I really don't want to wait for movies to render. It's not a bad game, it's just not a good game. It's a lukewarm game, and lukewarm is indeed the most uncomfortable temperature for bathwater, so based on that theory, I'm going to have to give director's chair two thumbs down. Really, this game should be titled Make Making movies is hard, because I think Steven Spielberg just wanted people to know how much effort goes into them. That's what I read from everything, at least. Yes, we get it. Making movies is hard. Please, for the love of God, don't make me cut more clips together. I will leave you all with this, a clip of Quentin Tarantino acting. Enjoy. <laughs> Jack! I've never heard anybody! Jack! It's time. Any, any, any word from my girl, huh? Well, you're strapping me into old Sparky. She's trying to find the real killer. Any word from her? Hey everyone, thank you for watching my video on Steven Spielberg's Director's Chair. It was an experience I hope you will not soon forget. I have other reviews on my channel, so why not subscribe so you never, ever miss one? Ever. Or you can follow me on my social networking sites, support me on Patreon, or just leave. I wasn't sure how to finish that sentence. Thanks again, and catch you guys in the next one.